Hello friends, welcome back to Thursday Thoughts with Rito. Have you been reclothed? Here's what I mean by that. There's this fascinating moment in the Old Testament. It's in the prophet Zechariah. It's in chapter 3, mostly. And what we have is the the Israelites have been brought back from exile in the land of Babylon. They're back in their homeland. They're starting work on the renewed temple. You can read all about that in Ezra and Nehemiah. And Zechariah comes along at about the same time frame. And the very first high priest who is able to minister to the people uh, once they've returned is, we call him Joshua or Jeshua. He heard his name, Yeshua. That should give you a clue of where this is going. And in this vision that Zechariah has, Yeshua is standing before God and the accuser, Satan, which we would have been pronounced in Hebrew, Satan, so the Satan, the accuser, is there accusing him of all kinds of sins and wrongdoing. And it's not necessarily that, that Yeshua had done all these things wrong. He's representing the people, the, the exiled community that has returned. They have still not fully obeyed and submitted to God's leadership. And so they're guilty. They're standing there guilty, even as they're back in their homeland, about to begin ministry in the renewed temple. And what happens is incredible. So check this out. This is Zechariah chapter 3. Uh, starting at verse 3. Yeshua's clothing was filthy as he stood there before the angel. So the angel said to the other standing there, Take off his filthy clothes. And turning to Yeshua, he said, See, I have taken away your sins, and now I'm giving you these fine new clothes. God does the redressing. God changes the status of Yeshua from being clothed in filthy rags unacceptable rags to being clothed in new heavenly rags. And then a little bit later, there's this moment where uh, it's in Zechariah 6, where they actually put a crown on Yeshua's head. He's both the high priest and symbolically a king. This is a great foreshadowing to Jesus, who is our great high priest forever. And the high priest, his job was to, to intercede between the people and God to carry their, their sins and their burdens before him, and also to, to be ministers of that reconciliation that they have with God. It's an image of Jesus. And I'm so encouraged because I don't have to undo my sins. I can't undo my sins. I can't change the things that I've done. I can't change the effects. I can't change the guilt that remains on me. But when I come to Jesus... When I give all of that sin to him, when I surrender every bit of my life, he reclothes me in his righteousness. And I love the old hymn, and uh, Hillsong has done a new version of it, Cornerstone. It, it says, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless stand before the throne. We're there in that place of standing before God with the accuser, the Satan, accusing us pointing out all the things that we've done wrong, all the reasons we don't deserve to be there. But if we will only allow ourselves to be redressed in the righteousness of Jesus, those accusations don't hold up anymore because all God will see when he looks at us is the righteousness of Christ. Thanks be to God. My friends, this day, I hope you'll walk in the light of Jesus and be the light to the world around you.